Hello everybody and uh, welcome to video 7 uh, about the Ultimate Thick Paint. This is the tips video. We mentioned sample multiple colors and I'd like to just talk a little bit more about that. The area that you sample is dependent upon the slider right here and that's 50 pixels. So if I do 50 pixels I'm going to get a wider swath across here uh, that I paint with. And I don't see anything there. So let's go to thin. Hmm. Oh, look. You see I was in the wrong uh, pointer. I'm in sample color. You need to be in sample multiple color. Now we grab it and... You see what is selected. If I take it down smaller, notice that I'm really just right in the center of that. Um, it's going to be a much smaller kind of variation, just this real small variation inside of here. Uh, where if you go bigger and you go somewhere around there, you're going to get multiple colors or more than just the couple of colors that you normally would get. So that's what that's about. Um, the next thing that I want to tell you about is when you're like, if we go to this thick, very dry uh, paint, notice that it runs out very quickly. Uh, so if I just keep going like that, it just runs out of paint and it's meant really to be painted more like this with little tiny strokes but you can get some really pretty brush strokes with it depending on um, whatever paper that you have selected so um, if you want this to continue and not run out of paint up here in the property bar, we have this little thing called infinite paint. And if you check that, then the brush will not run out. It will stay painting. Okay. So no matter what, it will not run out of paint. Isn't that cool? Okay. So um, take off infinite paint. And what else do I need to tell you? Oh, if you go to your uh, layers panel and you double click the layer, that will bring up the thick paint layers attributes. And you have a slider here that says 100%. If you take that slider and bring it all the way up to 1,000 and say, okay, now your brush is, um, let me go back to infinite paint, your brush is much thicker. Than what it was before. See if we go up here to this stuff that used to be thin, see how much thicker it is. Of course, it kind of gives you um, some artifacts. It doesn't look that nice. A small amount of change is uh, workable, but a uh, large change is not. Now, it is globally uh, connected to this layer. In other words, if I come up here and I open this back up, same layer, and I bring this back down to 100%, if I can get there, 100% and do that, then we're back to our normal size. Okay, so that's another little thing you could do. Now, I want to show you one other thing. Let's clear that. I'm going to open up um, reset. I'm going to open up a 300 DPI, um, a 300 PPI, sorry, image. And that's this one. I'll move it over a little bit. Now, it looks the same as the image that we had before. 
But look at the the brush. The brush is set at 50 um, pixels, and it is tiny compared to what it was with that other uh, image. And also, if I paint with it, it looks very smooth. Uh, it doesn't look um, textured like this brush looked before. So if I make it bigger, you see you're not getting much texture. It's also running out of paint a lot faster. All right, the reason you're not getting much paint is if you've increased your um, paper, then you're going to have to increase the size of the paper in here. So this canvas was at 100 uh, the scale was at 100%, and we've increased this by to 300%. So we need to increase the scale to 300%. Now, the contrast and the uh, 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 brightness can stay the same, but the size, uh, the, the uh, scale needs to change. Now watch when we paint. You see there's, tell you what, let me go to infinite paint. There, now you can see that the, well it really slows down on me. It doesn't, it didn't used to do that, but something's wrong with my machine. Now you can see the, 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 the paper grain is still there, where, uh, it, and it's the right size. So if you change resolutions, be prepared to, to make the brushes larger. Be prepared to the fact that they may slow down a bit, and you need to adjust your paper uh, size scale to, uh, to accommodate the 300% the PPI. Okay, do I think I have any other tips? I can't think of any other tips at the moment. I'd love to see what you do with this. I could, um, let's see, I could show you a couple of things. Um, I haven't done much here, but I'll show you a couple of things. This is... 300 ppi, but where I haven't increased the size of the paper. But uh, this is thin, you know, that working with number two, thin wet. And look how clean and, and smooth it is. Um, so thick paint doesn't have to be thick. It can be very oily and very thin. I've got a purple fruit that's sort of like that as well. Let me See if I can find it. I think it's there. And it isn't. So, um, where would it be? Probably in, let's see. My brush is not working. Let's see. Let's go to... Uh, 2020 images. Yeah, it's in here. This. See, again, that's very uh, thin paint with a little thick right on the side, but you get, uh, you know, your, uh, you get the idea that it's oil. And it doesn't have to be thick, because a lot of people don't like that thick paint. This is um, a painting I just did called Meditation. I'll open it up here. Now this one is uh, using watercolor and thick paint. And by the time I do a lot of manipulation to it, you lose where the thick paint is. But I love doing these kinds of images. Okay, I need to stop now because we're getting off track, uh, but I will post the brushes. I would love to see what you do with them. If you make anything with them, uh, any paintings posted on Facebook or at the um, Digital Art 
Academy community or in my class, if you're taking my class, um, post them so that I can see what you're doing. I really like these brushes and I'm hoping everybody else will. So y'all let me know if you uh, think they're good brushes. Alrighty, and I'll say one last thing. I worked hard on these brushes and I have a, there's a way that you can donate to my blog. And very seldom do I get a donation. And it sure would be nice to get a few donations uh, to offset the time I've spent on creating these brushes, if you like them. I'm not requiring that. They're still free. But if any of you have got a little extra money, you want to make a donation to say thank you, that would be great. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.